Hey there, Spencer here, and today I just wanted to give you a quick tour of our shop at Spen Certified. We've got some really cool equipment in here that you've probably never seen before. I'm sure we'll find something you've never seen. And I just want to give you a quick idea of what we do around here and everything we've got in store. As you saw, we've got a snowman set up for the holidays. And in this first room right here, we've just got the front room. We've got a bunch of equipment set up on display. Up here, we've got some Blu-ray players. And then we've got a Sony STR-V7 amplifier receiver. That was Sony's best receiver at the time. It is 150 watts per channel. And then a Sony FM tuner, AM FM tuner. And then a matching Marantz set, the amplifier receiver and the cassette deck. And then right here we've got our Betamax bundle. It comes with a beta tape rewinder brand new in the box, the original remote, some movies, a couple recordable tapes, and the machine itself is in excellent shape as well. And then we've got a Sony dual cassette deck. That's a really cool one. And then a Sony dual tray CD recorder. It's also got a five disc changer on the left side. That one's a really unique model. If you're looking for a dual tray CD recorder, this is the best one you could get. It's part of Sony's ES, ES line, which stands for Elevated Standard. ES is Sony's high-end equipment, basically. And then we've got a Panasonic Blu-ray VHS combo. Those are really rare. They didn't make too many of them. There's only two models available, and that's one of them. And then we've got the Panasonic AG-W1 Worldwide Video Communication. Basically, this machine could play any tape in the world because there's different formats for different places, as you can see on the map right there. And the face does fold down, and then there's a VCR in there, of course. And then we've got a Techniques EQ and Vintage Receiver Set. And then a Nakamishi receiver with AM FM built in. And then a Carver FM tuner. And then we've got probably JVC's best VCR. It's got the S video connector, plays Super VHS. And then we've got the Panasonic hard disk drive DVD recorder. And then this is really cool, a Denon cassette deck that loads horizontally. And it also uses a remote control. And then down here we've got an Oberheim guitar amplifier. Oberheim was a really high-end brand, GM1000, and then there's a Adcom AM FM tuner, which doesn't really belong in there, but it fits well, so I put it in there, and then the equalizer that goes with the guitar amp, and then we've got two really nice silver face audio, or not yeah, audio receivers. They're the vintage, the authentic, original vintage look. One is a Sherwood S7300, and then the realistic QTA752. They're both in excellent shape. And then we've got a TIAC record player and CD recorder. 
This is some of the better stuff that you can get. And then some Atlas sound speakers, Sony 5 disc CD player, and then more 5 disc CD players. And then a, a dream machine. And then we've got a bunch of VCRs right here, all different kinds. Ones with HDMI and ones with DVD recorders. S video and then we've even got a TV DVD VCR combo and then over here we've got a couple of other items a Sony receiver Pioneer Elite receiver that one's really cool Elite was basically the same thing that ES was to Sony it's basically Pioneer's high-end equipment. And then a Yamaha. And then a Denon amplifier. Then over here we've got kind of like a testing station. This is a, one of the new arrivals. It's a Sherwood Newcastle still checking it out but that one's a really pretty one it's got a nice look on the front and then a pioneer dual cartridge CD player and then in here this is my office we've got some equipment over here this is usually where I put stuff that's waiting for pictures. This is something that's really cool right here. This is one of Sony's best, if not Sony's best, cassette player recorders. It's a portable one. It's really heavy, it's got a lot of weight to it. This is the original case for it, which is usually pretty difficult to find. It's an excellent shape. And the model of it is a WM-D6C. And over here is where I take pictures of products to add to the website. These are the lights that I use. And over here we've got some other really nice equipment. We've got a Sony 400 disc Blu-ray player. And this is this specific model is part of their ES line again, elevated standard. You can put up to 400 Blu-rays into this carousel. It's pretty ridiculous. And then this right here is Definitely one of the best VCRs you could get. It's extremely rare as well. And it is a S-Video SVHS player made by Toshiba. It's got the remote right there. When I did have this specific one hooked up, it was very impressive to me just the way that the S-Video picture quality came through. And then we've got a Sony 3-head cassette player right here. Three head cassette players are always the best. They're better than two heads for sure. So try to get a three head cassette player if you're looking for one. And then another Sony receiver. And then this thing's pretty cool right here. It's a Sunfire 10 inch subwoofer. It doesn't look very big, but when it comes to subwoofers, smaller is better. And I have it on a piece of cardboard because if I didn't, it would probably walk away because it does have that much base. Over here is my desk where I've got five monitors set up with a special stand design. And 
And then I've got a couple of Bose Wave radios. These things sound absolutely amazing and they're very small. They put out a lot of bass. And there's the remote. And then I've got this Polk Audio speaker set right here. Those ones are pretty nice as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the warehouse. We've got a lot going on back here. So we'll just go shelf by shelf right here. We've got some different speakers, JBLs, JVC speakers, and then some standard receivers right there. Pretty basic, nothing too special about those ones. And then some equipment that doesn't work. And then up here we've got a bunch of Sony disc changers. Some are CD, some are DVD. They hold between 50 and 400 discs. And then up top we've got some 5 disc DVD players. And then some more 5 disc DVD players. Some VCRs a Marantz 100 disc changer next to a Technics 100 disc and then some more equipment that is a little faulty and then we've got some tube TVs and monitors right here we've got the ones with the VHS in them an old school Sony with the wood paneling on it a Sony Trinitron that thing is pretty sweet. It's got the speaker stand on it and it does all work flawlessly. And then down here we've got some other equipment, a couple of HD DVD players, and a Kai CD player, and then a Sony 10 disc cartridge style CD player. That's a unique one. And then a couple of end tables, some under cabinet radios, and then a couple more Pioneer Elite receivers. Both of them have that THX emblem on them. If ever you see the THX on a receiver, that usually means a good thing. And more specifically, it does always mean there are at least 105 watts per channel, which is a good thing to know. And then some face plates. Some more defective equipment. Some standard DVD recorders. Some Blu-ray players. And... The best Blu-ray player you can get is the Sony S350, in my opinion. And down here we've got a wagon made by... It's a Radio Flyer wagon. And then some bikes that we may fix. Ooh, and then this, this is a cool piece right here. It's a National Cash Register. I'm guessing it's from the 20s. It can only ring up a maximum of $9.99, I believe, which is kind of interesting. And right over here, this door opens, and it's still got... Still got the original receipt paper in there. And this thing does weigh probably 150 pounds. It's pretty heavy. And then we've got a 16 millimeter reel to reel projector with the speaker. And then a Coleman lamp. That is powered by kerosene, I believe. And then a Sony 100 disc. Another TIAC record player. Some more defective equipment right there. 
and then we've got Sony 5-disc CD players, Yamaha 5-disc CD players, Techniques 5-disc, Kenwood, some Denon, JVC, and then we've got some single-disc CD players right there, some more defective equipment right there. And then not really much here. So we'll go around. We've got a china cabinet. And then some more defective stuff right there. A couple more Techniques 100 disc CD players. A Sony record player that needs work. A Hitachi record player that needs work. Some more defective equipment. And then we do have a couple of karaoke players or video CD players. We've got a vintage Pioneer one, which is really interesting. And then down here we've got some Betacam players, professional systems. Very, very heavy. And then we've got a JVC 200 disc CD player that works extremely well. That one is a really good one. And then we've got some more defective equipment right there. And then a bunch of Sony 5 disc DVD players all kinds and then some more defective equipment and then we've got a brand new symphonic TV VCR combo right here brand new in the box which is pretty crazy and then a tube monitor a couple more tube TVs and then some amplifiers, some more defective stuff, and then a bunch of Betamaxes that don't work as well. And then let's go ahead and go back around and take a look at the next shelf. On this shelf and around this shelf, we've got a bunch of random stuff that we sell locally. We've got a dresser, outdoor storage container, a couch, a tile table. We've even got car parts for an F-250. This is really cool right here. It's a vintage children's desk and it looks authentic, which is really cool. And right here on these shelves, we've got all of our remote controls. We've got tons of remotes all inside of these drawers. All original for many different devices. Just many different remotes. You can see all the different brands that we've got. And then over over here on this shelf, we've got a bunch of different accessories. We've got HDMI cords, power cables, and then just different audio video cables and that kind of stuff. And then we've got a testing station right here. Another testing station right there some boxes for storage if we need them some storage containers and over here this is our cleaning station or one of them and then we've got some equipment in here 
got some Sony cassette CD player radios, some equalizers, Yamaha speakers, some different AM FM tuners, and then there's a bathroom right there. And then our signs that go outside during the day. And then over here is where we package stuff. So we'll test equipment right here and we'll test equipment on the left side. And then we've got a computer along with the phone in the middle. And then stuff will get wrapped up right here with the bubble wrap. Then we've got one of the tech desks right here. This is where stuff will get fixed sometimes. And then we've got all of our different supplies and some parts for repairs. And then we've got our customer repairs right here. This is where those go on these three shelves. And on the other side of this shelf, we've got some of our boxes, some equipment that needs repair, a tech desk, and up there we've got a bunch of Pioneer cartridge players, which I would recommend avoiding just because they are extremely fragile. And over here we've got our media selection. We've got DVDs. We've got beta tapes, many different ones available. And then we've got some Blu-rays right here as well. And we've got some VHS tapes. And in this box, we've got eight track tapes, which I'll show you those. So we've got all these eight track tapes. We've even got an adapter for a cassette tape. Then we've got a couple of PlayStation games. 
And on the top shelf here, we've got a small selection of speakers available. And we've got these interesting things there. They go to a phonograph, which is pretty interesting. Then we've got some brand new beta tape rewinders. Then we've got some more of those phonograph thingies. A couple of DVD or CD cases right there. And then some blank VHS tapes, brand new and used ones. And then we've got these VHS or beta organizers as well. And on this side, we've got a few different things. We've got some hand sanitizer, which we usually include with purchases for free. And then we've got a couple of Hi8 Digital 8 camcorders. Those are great for playing back the tapes. And then we've got a professional camera that was used back in the day for DV cam. We've got a couple of the tapes right there, the batteries, the microphone. Then we've got a JVC HDV recorder. And then a Sony controller for professional editing. And then a little Pac-Man player that you connect to your TV. And then a beta movie camera. And then a couple more speakers right here. We've got a pair of Athenas which is an interesting brand, but those do sound pretty good. And then a Yamaha 5 channel system, a couple Pioneer speakers. Now let's pass through the kitchen real quick. We've got this nice picnic table right here, which is for sale. We've got our fridge, microwave. And then we've got a bathroom right here. It's pretty clean, actually. And in here is the display room. We've got a bunch of our VCRs set up over here all cleaned up all the heads have been cleaned on them we've got all the different brands that you would want all of the features that you could want And we've even got a couple of new ones, too. We've got a new dual-deck VCR. Then we've got a new Sony HDMI VHS to DVD recorder. That Sony right there is used. And then we've got a brand new Philips hard disk drive DVD recorder system. So those have a built-in hard drive as well as a DVD recorder. And then we've got a Panasonic, brand new in the box, never used. And then Toshiba used, a Funai that's been used, a factory refurbished Orion, which looks like it's pretty much new. And then a brand new Sony under cabinet radio. Those aren't manufactured anymore either, so those are pretty cool to find. 
up here we've got a bunch of different DVD recorders, another hard drive by Philips, and then some standard cassette players, a Kenwood 5 disc CD player, and then this one right here is Sony's best CD player in my opinion. It holds up to 400 discs. It's the M555ES. And then right here we've got a couple of cartridge style Kenwood CD players. And then a JVC. And then some HDMI 5 disc DVD players. A couple of JVC amplifiers. A Sony receiver. And then we've got some other stuff right here. A couple of Techniques record players, a sharp TV VCR combo that's in excellent condition, and then another three head cassette player. This one's made by Denon. That one is an awesome one, it's really, really high quality. And then we've got a Zenith Transoceanic Radio. These are pretty rare to find, and this one is in excellent condition as well. And then a couple of single disc CD players, a portable Sony cassette CD player, a GE alarm clock, Panasonic alarm clock, and then we've got a Panasonic cassette player and recorder. It's pretty much, it's almost like new, excellent condition. It works perfectly and it's really one of the best ones that you can get if you're looking for a portable cassette player. And then we've got some different Walkmans, portable radios. Right here we've got a bunch of single disc players. We've got a Bose one right there, Sony Discman, and then we've got a PlayStation 1 connector, and then a couple of PS1 controllers as well. A Dream Machine again, this one's a little different though. A Sony Portable cassette player sports which is Sony's more like portable ones that you can rough up a little bit and then a couple more Sony Walkmans those ones in the back are just AM FM radios and over here We've got a Denon amplifier receiver, a Vizio soundbar with the subwoofer, and then a couple of amplifiers. And then we've got a DCM speaker pair right here. They're pretty big. And then a pair of Sony receivers. These ones are pretty nice and they're both vintage looking. And then right here we've got Wharfdale speakers, which they are pretty interesting. I'll take this cover off real quick and let you see them. They're pretty different looking. So you can see this speaker right here is purple which is pretty interesting to me. These other ones look pretty, mostly standard. It's still kind of interesting how it's in there. And over here, we've got some more interesting stuff. These are laser disc players. This one's a Pioneer. 
and then this one's a Sony. They're both these these both are top loaders. And these ones up here are the front loaders and the front loaders are better in my opinion. And this top one right here has a disc in it. I'll take it out and show you what it looks like. So this is it's a laser disc right there. It's about the size of a vinyl, but it plays video, which is really interesting. So let's let's drop this back in there. And then let's push play. And then I'll show you what it looks like right here. So you can see it is a pretty crisp looking picture in my opinion. It's a little bit better than VHS and that was what it was competing with at the time. But this was basically the first step towards DVD I would say. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the final room. It's our speaker room. This room's pretty sweet. We've got a bunch of speakers set up. We've got a stack of subwoofers right here. A few different options. And then we've got a pair of Polk audio speakers right here. And I'll show you what the tweeter looks like under these covers. So that's the crossover for the tweeter. And right here we've got some two-way advent speakers, a pair of them. A few different center channel speakers. A standard Marantz record player, nothing special. And then a Marantz 5-disc CD player. That is one of the best 5-disc CD players you can get. It's got the remote. And then a Sony HDMI receiver. A Denon DVD 2900. And then we've got a Denon HDMI receiver. Model number AVR-988. And then we've got some more Polk speakers right here. And then we've got an Onkyo Integra power amp and preamp combo. And then we've got a Pioneer Elite HDMI receiver, model number model number VSX-01TXH. This one is a really nice receiver. And then we've got a Denon. This one is a AVR 4802R. And 
and then a Pioneer Elite DVD player, and then a SAE R102. This is a really rare piece right here. And over here, we've got a large Technics SA-727. And I'll turn all this on so you can see it. It's got this space dimension thing right here, which is really cool. So you can see it's got these neat little things that show goes in and out with the music and of course it doesn't just look cool but it does affect the sound you've got the dimension control and the intensity of it and then you've got your AM FM control right there and it does also show you on the screen And then we've got this Harman Kardon receiver. And then a Pioneer AM FM tuner, model TX-7500. And a Yamaha CDC-697. This is definitely one of Yamaha's best five disc CD players. And then we've got a few different speaker sets here. We've got Audiophonics, Polk Audio, and then a pair of Infinities. And then over here, we've got something really, really cool. We've got the Panasonic reel to reel system, and it's working perfectly just recorded with it last night. I'll show you it real quick. So you can see it spinning up right there. It still needs to be cleaned up a little bit. We just got it in. And it's even got automatic reverse. It's got these meters that show the output level. And then they also show the recording level for when you're recording. And then it does have fast rewinding and fast forwarding. And I'll let you hear it really briefly. And in order to begin a recording with it, we're not going to be able to hear any recording because we don't have any audio connected at the moment. But all you would need to do is push both of these buttons in while also turning this into the play position. So let's see if I can do that. And 
now you can see up here it turns red when it begins recording and you can adjust the recording volumes right here but again there's nothing coming through right now but it's all working perfectly and that thing is sweet and then over here we've got a 8 track recorder and player and then we've got a Game Boy with the case, Polaroid camera, a couple more of those, 8mm recorder, and then a camera. And then right here we've got one more system. It's got this trip light controller for powering up everything. So we've got this Onkyo cartridge style, which the Onkyos are really reliable when it comes to the cartridge designs. And then we've got a Onkyo amplifier and an Onkyo single disc. And then an Onkyo equalizer. It's a seven band. And then a Onkyo dual cassette player and recorder. And then we've got a pair of infinity speakers. One of the cones are pushed in on one, unfortunately. We probably won't be fixing this one. That was a full tour of our warehouse here at Spend Certified. And just as a reminder, all of our equipment does come with a six month warranty unless otherwise stated somewhere in the description. And everything that we sell is gone through and we make sure everything is working perfectly before we ship it or before it leaves our warehouse. If you're looking to purchase anything, please check out our website. You can find a lot of these products on there. And if you can't find something that you're looking for, please give us a call and we can help you out. And we do also offer repairs on a lot of the equipment that we sell and then some other equipment. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.